Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. And check this out. What is the benefits of keeping the kingdom? Get Matthew 24, verse 3. Because what you're going to realize, we are in the last days. You understand that? Right. 24, verse 3. You understand we are in the last days. You see all the commotion. You see all this tumult. You see all the plagues, the viruses, the diseases, the famine. These are, time, these are signs of the times. Right. But nobody's paying attention to what's going on. Right. So those people on purple that you see in the streets every single week warning you. The words of the Bible is now speaking. It's come to life. Yeah, you can't right. stop the prophecies. You cannot stop the plagues of God. That's they right. have to come. Right. They have to come to prove who's a hypocrite, who's a liar, and who's telling the truth. Right. And we tell the truth. And people think that we're lying. We just hear this whistling Dixie. No. Christ warned us in these times. Read that. This is Matthew. Uh, chapter 24, verse 3. Read it out. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, uh -huh. the disciples came unto him privately. Who's speaking? Jesus Christ. What color is he? A black man. That's he right. He wasn't this Caucasian man that everybody's confused him to be. Caesar Borgia. Christ looked like me and you. Christ was doing the same thing that we do to this very day. Right. He was speaking in the Mount of Olives, read. Saying, tell us, where shall these things be? Mm -hmm. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What shall be the sign of thy coming? Because everybody's been talking since. They said everybody's been speaking about Christ's coming. The second coming of Christ. But he hasn't come yet. But Christ gave us timelines. He gave us timelines of what to expect. What to examine. To what to see. What to, um, to, how to read the signs of the times. To know when is the time of his coming. Read. And of the end of the world. And the what? And the end of the world. The world is not going to end. The world that we know today will never end. Give me that Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4. Because people think that the end of the world is some type of planet Nubiru coming to crash it down on the earth. You think there's going to be an alien invasion It's going to be the end of the world. You think that this virus, the coronavirus, is going to wipe out all human life. 1 verse 4. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 1, verse 4. So we think that this is it for us. Now, this is not it for us, Israel. This is only the beginning for us. The kingdom of heaven is being established on this earth right now. That's what right. is God's laws. There's a world to come. And that's Christ's world. But in order for this world to end, guess what? God has to bring it down. He has to bring plagues. He has to bring confusion. He has to bring chaos. He has to bring war. Because there's no salvation without destruction. That's right. Read that. One generation passes away. One generation passes away, read. And another generation coming. And another generation coming. Me and it, our spirit keeps coming back. You die, you go to the you go to the realm with the most high, the spiritual realm. Then he sent you back. One generator coming, the next generator come, regeneration. Read. But the earth abideth forever. The what? The earth abideth forever. The earth abideth forever. That's right. The planet earth is not going to be destroyed. That's, That's right. why Christ says not one tittle, one jot shall be removed from this book. Get out. Get out. The earth shall not pass away. The earth is not going to pass away. Get that in Matthews. You know what I want? No one not. 5 verse 17. Read that. So the earth is not going to pass away. People are running in fear. They think it's the end of times. 100 million people are going to be affected. Guess what? The prophets of the Lord, we're gathering ourselves together. 
we put our resources together to protect each other from the famine, to protect each other from a lack of food, a lack of toiletries. So we help each other out in that aspect. But we don't fear. We don't run. We don't worry about that because we know who controls the show. That's right. The outside Christ is controlling. There's a death angel right now out in that spiritual realm controlling the plague right now. Right. You can't stop the plague of the Most High. You can put on a mask. You can wash your hands. You can do whatever you want. You can you can call for your thing. The Most High has a plague. The Most High has a thing coming from from like 10 to 15 feet away like this. Just a little a germ going your nose and you got it. The Most High can do whatever you want. Read that. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Read. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. The Bible says, think not that I come to destroy the law. And you wonder why there's so much great plagues on this earth? Because this law, earth is a lawless place. That's right. The black community is a lawless place. Right. You're talking about the coronavirus. Then what about HIV in the black community? Right. What about black on black crime in the black community? Right. There's been more deaths in the black community in one month than there's with this coronavirus. Right. But you're scared about coronavirus, but you're not scared about your brother shooting each other down. Right. In Chicago alone, Chicago alone, in one weekend, 46 deaths. Right. In America, there's about 48 deaths. 140 deaths, but you scare about I uh, too. You get all the toiletries. You steal a you steal a damn toilet tissue from the stalls. But you walk around, your brother robbing you. You walk by, you just sh drive by. Your babies get a shot. A Negro is the worst virus. The black man right now, in his low state of mind, and his sinful state of mind, is worse than coronavirus. He's worse than AIDS. He's worse than all type of virus. Why? Because his mind is not right with God. That's right. I'm talking about I too. I gotta worry about my brother shooting me down the street. Right. The hell with coronavirus. I'm worried about that Negro that's trying to kill me for preaching the word of God. That's right. That's the virus I'm worried about. Read. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. The Bible says, think not that I have come to destroy the law. Christ and all your Christian churches that you go to, your Muslim mosques, your Islam to your temples, whatever religion you worship, all these religions are against breaking God's laws. That's They're right. all against the Bible. Why? In Christianity, what? You celebrate Christmas, Islam, you have your um, Hajj, your Rosh Hashanah, all these holidays, all these false religions, all paganism. Right. All paganism. But you go to your church continually breaking God's laws. Read. All the prophets. All the prophets. Read. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ did not come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill every prophecy. And the last prophecy, when they make their final evasion on the earth. That's right. Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. Read on. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Read that again. Till heaven and earth pass. Till heaven and earth pass. Read. One jot. Or what tittle shall in no wise pass from the law? Heaven and earth is not going to pass. You know why heaven and earth is not going to pass? Give me that Jeremiah chapter 31. Reload. I don't know why you guys scared. What is the black man, black woman scared for? You should be scared if you're not keeping the commandments. That's right. right. If you're wearing those pants, sister, you should be scared. Bring it you should be you eating that pork. you smoking that weed. you smoking crack. you having sex without your wife. You should be scared. Huh? But since you got now, you got to take the next steps, you know what I'm saying? We got to evolve. We got to grow in grace. We all come from certain points of our life, you know, that we all have to grow. We all have sins that we're all troubled with, that we're, that we're battling. You see, I'm That's the most high had to come here, sis. Oh, praise to the most high. That's the spirit of the Lord. Beautiful. I love it, sister. Beautiful. We need more righteous sisters like yourself. And now we want to elevate you to the next level. Bring it up. Read on. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Read. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. which giveth the sun for light uh -huh. by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. More people are afraid of the media than they are afraid of God. Right. We tell you, don't do this, don't do that, or God will bring a plague upon you. You say, you know what? I don't believe you. I'm not going to listen to you. The media says there's a virus going around that could plague and pretty much wipe out hundred millions of people on this earth. You says, ah! run, buy toilet tissue to wipe my behind for a cold. And hand sanitizer. We can just wash your hands. You fear the white man more than you fear God. God says do this. You said no. The white man said there's a cold going around. He said, ah, I'm scared. 
It shows you guys fear God. You fear men rather than God. Right. The Bible says we ought to be God rather than men. Right. What's wrong with you people? Read. Which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar. God says, I created the lights by day and the lights by night. I created, I divide the seas which war. Read. The Lord of hosts is his name. God is his name. He is the creator. God is forming all of this. Yes, Everything you've seen going around you, God is in control of this. God is causing these places to come. Read. If those ordinances depart from before me, uh -huh. says the Lord. If the sun, the moon, the stars, the seas, all the creation depart before God, read. Then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation. Then the seed of East Israel, the 12 tribes, the so-called black and Hispanics. If the sun and the moon depart before God, the earth, the seas, then the 12 tribes will depart. But that's not going to happen. We still here. We ain't going nowhere. That's right. That's right. He said the earth abided forever. The earth is always going to be here. And the Israelites are always going to be here. That's We're right. going to be here. Listen. We don't want to say, what is that cliche saying? We don't die, we multiply? Yes, exactly. How many times they have to try to wipe us out? How many diseases they put in our community? Right. AIDS, syphilis, herpes, all the diseases that we have in our community. And look at us. We still have our babies. We still popping them out. They did the same thing that they did in ancient Egypt. What did they do? Pharaoh took all the young boys, two years and under, and they killed them, fed them to the alligators. They tried to kill them, but what happened? It says, but yet, the children of Israel still multiplied. That's right. We multiply in the millions. They cannot, they cannot destroy what God bless. They cannot curse what God bless. You got to understand that. Read on. Is that it? Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, uh -huh. and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath. If they can measure the heavens and the earth, that's why they're trying to go to space. You got Elon Musk. Elon Musk with his, with his SpaceX program trying to go to Mars. He said, we're trying to create a life and continuation for our children. Listen, when Christ come, we're going to come find you on Mars too. That's right. You're going to see a big, you're going to see big burly black men with those afros with the capes going out. And we're going to march up to Mars. We said, we're taking that too. That's right. We're taking the kingdom. We're taking Mars. We're taking everywhere you go. You cannot run, you cannot hide from the judgment of God. Read. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 9. Habakkuk 2, verse 9. Read. Woe to him that covetous and evil covetousness. So, woe to him, mean destruction unto him that coveted. Mean their desire is an evil desire. They take things that are not theirs. They will rape, they will rob, they will take everything. They will create chaos, they will create uproars, they will create, take, they will create. Um, overthrown governments, they'll create diseases just to take things that are not theirs. Listen, they put smallpox on the Native American Indians. They'll push diseases on you to take things that are not theirs. They'll do it by any means necessary. Right. Yes, read. Woe to him that covenant and evil covetousness. Read. To his house, that he may set his nest on high. That he, to his house, that he may set his nest on high. Yeah. What is a nest on high? Taking the space, claiming the space for themselves, claiming the moon for themselves. The ego has landed. Set up the satellites in space. That's not their dwelling place. The space is the heavens. The space is the heavens. That's where God and the angels dwell. You got the different dimensions out there. So they're taking the space, which is the heavens for themselves, which was not given to them. Read. And they talk about all well, some alien space force out here. Ain't no damn aliens. That's our brothers out there. That's right. That's our brothers out there in those so-called UFOs you call. There ain't no damn UFOs. Those are chariots of God. Yeah. These are angels of God. That's Gabriel's up there. Michael's out there. All the angels, Raphael's up there. Those are our brothers that look like me and you. And they talk like the deacon right there. They look like deacon I thought right there, the angels out there. Read on. <laughs> that he may be delivered from the power of evil. You see? They're trying to escape the powers of evil. That's why you have Elon Musk. You got the um, the CEO from Virgin Galactic. He's creating a space program for the for, for the planes to fly out of space. And they're taking hundreds of thousands of orders to escape the judgment. They cannot escape the judgment of God. Wherever they go, we will go. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.